like electric charges repel, whereas opposite charges attract. But how does this force depend on the distance between the charges? This dependence was first accurately measured by a French engineer and scientist, Charles-Augustin Coulomb, using the torsion balance he had invented. In the Coulomb installation, a balance beam is suspended by a thread with a charged ball at the end. Another charged ball is brought forth to it from a side. The balls repel each other and the thread twists around. The angle of twisting determines how the repulsive force of the balls depends on the distance between them. In our installation, one ball is suspended on an easily rotating balance beam. The angle of its deflection from the vertical is determined by the upper scale and the force acting on the ball is proportional to this deflection. The second ball is installed on a movable block, the displacement of which is determined by the lower scale. Let us charge both balls from a high voltage source. As the distance between the balls decreases, the deflection angle increases, which means that the repulsive force between them also increases. Here is a graph that shows how this force depends on the distance between the centers of the balls. Let's select a power function that approximates these points in the best way. We see that the degree in the denominator is close to 2. The more accurate the measurements are, the less this indicator differs from 2. So, Coulomb's law is formulated as follows. The force of interaction between two point electric charges is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The only question is how this force depends on the magnitude of the charges. It is natural to assume that it is directly proportional to the magnitude of both charges and therefore to their product. And if each charge is increased two times, the force will increase four times. We are going to check this in our experiment. Let us charge the balls with a voltage of 10 kV and measure how the force of their interaction depends on the distance between them. Now we will double the voltage to 20 kV. At the same time, the magnitude of both charges will double. Now we'll repeat our experiment once more. Here are the measurement results for both voltages. We approximate both sets of points by inverse quadratic functions. For the same distance, the forces differ by a factor of 4, which confirms our hypothesis. Thus, Coulomb's law can be formulated as the force of interaction between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitudes of both charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Mm -hmm.